Armenia came out with Emperor Edition. In my opinion, Armenia is a tough contender versus Parthia. Basically, Armenia is very similar, but has um, some differences. So, Armenia has Persian cavalry, which tends to be your main shock cav to go to when you're um, playing as them. Because if you're using Eastern cataphracts, chances are you'll, you're going to mimic certain tactics that the Parthians already master. And you don't want to do that, trust me. Armenia also has... So, wait, before I go into that, I want to talk about Persian Cav. They're basically a cheap shock cav unit that is lightly armored but is faster compared to cataphracts. So, now Armenia has a high tier hoplite unit that can be useful as second line infantry. Like I said, you can rely on cataphracts, but Persian cavalry might be the way to go. Just keep in mind that your core does lose to Thorak Swordsman because although they have less melee attack, they have better weapon damage and slightly more melee defense. Armenia can get outdone by the successors that have Hellenic Cataphracts because they have better infantry and the option to bring pikes. So, to summarize, Armenia is a nice faction, quite different from Parthia but similar when it comes to tactics. Gameplay wise, they are similar, but you do have the option to bring a cheaper shot cav unit. Something that even Pontus can't do. So give them a try. In my opinion, I don't know who Armenia beats. They're very good at fighting almost everyone, but they do lose to the Seleucids and Bactria. What can you expect a Parthian, uh, an Armenian army to be like? Most people tend to bring royal cataphracts. When you have an Azat Knight general, like the Seleucids also have the Azat Knights, but I don't really see people use them a lot. If you have an Azat Knight General, I'd prefer them much more. They basically are better than Aspis Companions, but they will do less damage against infantry than Aspis Companions. Your core is usually Cartley Axemen. People can bring Axemen depending on what their needs are. Like Axemen are medium. No, they're heavy, sorry. They're heavy and so are Cartley Axemen. But the difference between them is that Axemen don't have shield wall. They're statistically like similar, but Axemen have 7 less melee attack and 2 less melee defense. Health and morale wise, they also have 5 in both departments. Hillmen usually don't have a, a big use. They can be used as cannon fodder, they can be used as meat shields. Eastern Spearmen are only good for supporting cav engagements. However, they will <clears throat> have a hard time against good sword cap. Missile infantry wise, same as the Parthians, nothing special. Shot cavalry, most of the times I rely on Persian cav and on then Eastern cataphracts, but on the flanks. Because again, these guys don't have the armor, but they do have the same charge bonus that Eastern cataphracts have, so it might be useful to bring them. But that, uh, that of course is my own opinion. Melee cav wise, they have Cappadocian cav as mercenaries. They like you might need to bring Cappadocian cavalry against certain factions. As of knights, however, are are a really good idea if you don't want to bring royal cataphracts. Missile cav same as Parthia, just don't have Parthian horse archers. My typical army does even use axemen. I just rely mo mainly on currently axemen because they have the same purpose. Noble Spearmen usually are my second line. Every now and then I'll bring them. If I don't have enough money, I'll just bring Persian Hoplites. Persian Hoplites are not very flexible, but they can get um, chariots stuck on them, and they can get elephants stuck in them once they run amok, which is very helpful. Two Persian Cav, two Eastern Cataphracts is good enough. Two Cappadocians if you want to. If you have an army like this, I don't recommend using Azat Knights, but you know, it's up to you. Usually with Armenia, having Eastern Slingers might be a better choice, but of course that's up to you. If I have like this much space left over, I'll usually just bring another Curly Axeman, and then I'll bring a Noble Horse. But yeah, that's basically what I would do. Your gameplay revolves because you're an Easter faction, it revolves around your shot cav. 
So if you use eastern cal cataphracts, try to divert as much um, and as much projectiles away from them as possible, as much precursors away from them as possible. Use meat shields, use something that can like absorb it while your cataphracts come in. That's your best way to approach frontally. Just be careful of the Greeks when they go into Hopate Phalanx because the ones with extra charged defense can brace really well and bounce some of your weapon damage back at you. So yeah, that's pretty much it for Armenia. In uh, 10 seconds, I'm going to jump right into the next culture.